Hi YouTubers, what's going on? Welcome to Delusional's Arcade. So, in this video I'm just going to show the unboxing of two more Dominix joysticks that I got from GroovyGameGear.com. Uh, first of all, I'll just show you what I've done. It. You've probably seen this arcade before. But this is the original control panel I had on it where these two joysticks were installed. Kind of, They were still facing up so they were going in the correct direction. It was just a little awkward to kind of be here and play or vice versa. So what I used to do is I, I kind of played a little crooked and I'm kind of tired of it after a while. So I came across this uh, overlay that I got from a member on one of the boards and I ended up just rebuilding or tracing. Oops, of course I just pressed start. But anyway, I ended up getting this uh, overlay here from the old one, tracing it routing out the edges and making this one over here so it came out perfect. I decided to go with the Dominic sticks. These sticks here are um, leaf switches, these here are micro switches so I tried them out for a while side by side and I ended up loving these so uh, and other people too that came over. These are just, this one played a lot better. This one will kind of stick in the corners a little bit. These are supers. They're just uh, knockoff supers which have the red on top instead of the normal black. So here it is. Let's see, let me open it up. There's one. First thing I did is, uh, these are blue here. I got these originally because I wanted it on the Ultra Arcade to change it to blue, but they didn't really feel right. They felt great for Robotron and Smash TV and Total Carnage, but they felt awful for um, games like Street Fighter and stuff, which people like to play on this. So I took them back out. I already had the blue. So I decided to change them out with these. These are the arcade red ones, and I'm going to pop one in. Actually, I'll pop them both in see how that looks. I didn't really tighten these that much so it's easy to take off. So yeah this looks much better. What do you guys think? Yeah I would say it looks so much better versus the yeah, blue there. So this one off. I'll tighten them up later. I mean, I could still use the blue ones on something else over there. Or on a future panel, I have tons of parts. I have green, I have pink, I have red, blue. So there we go. Yeah, that looks really, really good. Matches perfectly. It's beginning to look like a good cabinet here. So uh, I'm not going to change these out right now. But what I will do, let's see, what else did I work here? I ordered some quick disconnects. I got, uh, I think I got all sides. I got 110 for like Sanwa and Japanese sticks. I got the dot 187 for these. And I may have gotten quarter inch. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. So here's the rest of them here. Let's do the ground first. All right, so nothing else in there. Actually, yeah, there looks like there's three. I'm not even sure. Anyway. So, here it is. Let's see, let's open it up. All tops are ready on these. Because I ordered them with it. I just got the two extra for those to replace them. And here it is. Let's see, let's open it up. Some more. Wow. Even though I have them, I still get, it's like a kid in a candy store every time I open them up. So these are the sticks, I don't know if you can see there, if it comes in, if it'll focus. But it's the, uh, let's see. 
Yeah, anyway, it's the Dominic sticks. It says Dominic's right there. Dominic's 8. It's by GroovyGameGear.com. And this is how the bottom looks here. So you have the leaf switches where if you move it in each direction, it causes it to touch there, as opposed to the micro switches that kind of click down. And these are adjustable, of course. You can set them to whatever sensitivity you want, if you want it further out. Uh, and then the uh, ground and the micro switch tool for the JAMA connector goes here. So I have all four. And inside, you can't really see it, but let's see if I can see. Yeah, you can't see inside. But there's a grommet inside that's made of rubber. It's actually a little softer than the original Wyco's, only because the, uh, the ones for the Wyco's take a little time to get worked out, so it feels like this. And they also tend to crack over time. Uh, but these are made of softer rubber, so they're broken in right away, and they last longer in the, in the long run. So, uh, yeah, these are them. So here's one. Let me open up my other one now. And again, if you guys want to try these, um, you're on the East Coast. At Retro World Expo, it's going to be in Wallingford, Connecticut. I'm going to bring this machine there. So uh, I'm going to have a sign that's featuring Dominic's joysticks by Randy at, at uh, GroovyGameGear.com. Again, these are them. The Dominic's 8 sticks. They're really good. They come in, I think, 8-way uh, right now, but they come in 8-way and 4-way. And uh, he has an octagonal restrictor that you can buy as well. But these are just straight round ones. So these are going to go right here, boom. So I'm going to have two and two. These are the long ones, by the way. They have shorter ones that you can buy for the metal control panels, which this originally was a metal control panel. Somebody converted a gauntlet, so the joystick would kind of go just right in here. And as you can see, this one's really way too long. But when I recut mine, I wanted it to be wood underneath completely uh, so that the metal part wouldn't kind of rub on this part and I didn't want it rubbing. So I made it out of wood so that it kind of stuck here and it kind of restricted it a little bit. So mine are the wooden ones. Just come down here and that's how the length looks when you're done. So there you have it. Dominic sticks, I really recommend them. Um, again, if you uh, want some more information, I believe the website uh, for his is groovygamegear.com, but the one for the Expo in Wallingford, Connecticut, and that's on October 3rd, is uh, RetroWorldExpo.com. And my buddy Lance and uh, John, they both kind of run RetroWare TV, and they'll be there. There's going to be a lot of guests there. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm bringing this machine there. I'll be there. You know, if you see it, stop on by, say hi. One. Okay, guys, just wanted to show you some gameplay. Uh, here it is with the old joysticks here. Still good, uh, especially the fact that they're in parallel, like they should be, as opposed to my old panel. However, it's a little hard to get the corners, and I've had this game a while, and it's still kind of hard. I'm just kind of used to it. My son kind of prefers this one. However, uh, you know, he just turned seven, so <laughs> he just likes it because he's used to it, I think. So I got the new ones, he's like, I don't really like these too much, but he's not, he's not used to them because they're leaf switches, he's used to the clicking. Okay, so... Okay, grab these. What do you guys think? Do these look nicer? Do these look nicer? Do you think they're more, uh, in tune? I mean, I, I like the Wyco, uh lookalikes, or Wyco clones, I would call them, or alternatives, really, is the word. It's the clones, I mean, you can't beat an actual Wyco. So I'm going to die here. I'll join in with the other guy. And you'll see, for me, I mean, it's just so much smoother. I'm a big, big fan of this game. I used to play it in college. And that's one of the main reasons I made my quad panel 
with uh, two sticks per player. Just for that reason. Play co op. Oh, here come the little guys. Yeah, it was good. I just said uh, I love this game. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Tough board. Ooh, free guy.
why I got all the free guys.
notice when you can't hide in the corners because those things will get you. get these close-up ranges, it actually leaves a uh, protection around you until the ammo is gone, usually. Oh. Yeah, that too. Let's see. Watch, let's see. Nice. Thanks everybody, this has been a good video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below about anything about the machine. I know pretty much a lot about Total Carnage, Smash TV, the original PCBs, the gameplay, and these joysticks. Thumbs up if you liked the video. If you want to subscribe, just hit the subscribe button and be sure to tell your friends. Thanks, take care.